very, 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 very magical urn, which I have right here. It's very magical. It's very much an urn. You can all see inside. You can even put your hand inside to make sure there's no mirrors, trap doors, secret passageways, purple helper monkeys, anything out of the ordinary. Nothing like that in there? Good. Now, what the magical urn does is it makes things disappear. Do I have any volunteers? I'm just kidding. All right, but what I do have is a solid gold block. All right, it's right here, solid gold. Yeah, it's amazing that so much gold. Now, what I'll do is I'll place it inside the magical urn, give it a wave and a tap, and it'll disappear. Give it another wave and a tap, and it'll reappear just like that. It's amazing. Now, I'll do it again because I know you're all probably so amazed that you're in disbelief. So I'll do it again. I'll give it a wave and a tap, and it'll disappear. All right. What? It didn't disappear? God, that never fools anyone. All right. Well, what I do have instead is a magical box. All right, I'll try this instead. All right, you can see inside. You can see that it is very magical, like the magical urn. All right, so... What I'll do is I'll take the solid gold block, put it inside the magical, magical box, like so, give it a wave and a tap. It's not on this side, and it's not on this side. So I, oh, it's over here? All right, thank you for correcting me. What? Oh, it's over here now? Okay. Oh, what? Do you want me to open up both of them? Yeah. Okay. Here's one. And here's the other. Oh, open up both doors at the same time? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to open up the windows instead? Yeah. The window. All right, I'll open the windows. Uh. Right here. Oh, you want it to turn it around? All right. Just like that. Oh, turn the box around. OK. Oh, turn it around on the table. All right. Just like that. Now open the windows? All right. Oh, you want to see inside the box? Yeah. Oh, you should have just said so. Okay, you want to see inside? You can't take my word on it? No. No? Are you sure? No. Yeah. yeah, okay, I'll show you the inside. First you have to ruin that, now you have to see inside. All right, I'll show you the inside. Right here. No, all right. But you see, it gets even more amazing than that, all right? And that's hard to believe. But you see, you all blinked at the same time, all right? I saw it, and you, everyone here blinked, all right? And at that time, the solid gold block jumped out of the magical box. It ran seven times around every one of you, all right? It ran seven times. Then it ran out the back door into the library, read every newspaper, magazine, and book in this library twice, all right? Then it ran out the front door, around the library, back through, back through that door, onto the magical table, into the air. Did 15 backflips and a rotation in midair. And this is all while you're still blinking. I mean, all right, that's amazing. And then it landed straight inside the magical urn, just like that. Well, when John showed me that, I knew we had the tomb of the magical mummy, that we would soon discover the source of all knowledge. And on the floor of the tomb, we found a reed box. It was said would contain the, the information on the source of all knowledge or the sarcophagus of the magical mummy that would contain the source of all knowledge. But before we go to just opening this, I need another volunteer, somebody who wants to come up here and help me. Come on, young lady, right there. Come up here. 
We have with us today another young Egyptian girl, and her name is Amy. Amy lives along the Nile River. She lives with her mother, her father, and 16 brothers and sisters. <laughs> Woo, that was a big family. Now, her father was a fisherman. And Amy woke up one morning just not wanting to be around all those brothers and sisters, and she decided to go to the river with her father fishing. So the father got there, and instead of a fishing pole, the father would use a net he would throw into the water and pull back, hoping to catch a fish. So Amy was there, and the father, early in the morning, began to throw the net out and pull it back, throw the net out and pull it back. By mid-morning, he had not caught a fish. And Amy, turn around and face everybody here, Amy was bored. Can you demonstrate bored? There you go. Very good. Have you been bored before? Yeah, I think so. The father continued to fish, throwing the net out and pulling it back, throwing the net out and pulling it back. And by noon, he had not caught a fish. And now Amy was not only bored, but you were, you were hot too. Can you fan yourself? Be bored and fan yourself. There you go. So the father continued to fish, throwing that net out and pulling it back, throwing it out and pulling it back. And by uh, late or mid-afternoon, Amy was not only bored and hot, fan yourself, but now rub your tummy because you're also very hungry. Very talented was this daughter. Well, shortly after that, the father cast his net into the water. He pulled it back, and there was something in the net. When he pulled it up onto the shore and opened it up, he found a canopic jar. A canopic jar was used by the ancient Egyptians when they mummified people. They would take out the heart and put it in a jar, the brains and put it in a jar, the liver and put it in a jar. This woman here is known as the guardian Imseti. Imseti was the guardian of the liver. Hey, daughter, we're going to have liver jerky. <laughs> hey, let's open it up, see what we have here. Huh. Pull that out. Blow on it gently. Is that what I think it is? Blow it up in the air so everybody can see. Wow! Go ahead, put it back in there. We've got 4,000-year-old liver bubbles. <laughs> And your brothers and sisters are going to like that. Wow. Oh, daughter. It was said that the magical mummy's tomb had been washed out. The magical mummy's sarcophagus is in the river. Whoever finds it and opens it is supposed to be made rich. Would you like that, to be made rich? Okay. Here, so the father threw the net out in the water again. He pulled it back in, and sure enough, when he pulled the net in, this time... There was a small sarcophagus. Daughter, Amy, it is said that the magical mummy is in a small sarcophagus with a beautiful necklace. Maybe we have found it. So the father gathered up something to set the sarcophagus on. He had his daughter Amy help him, and they took the lid off. Set it on that blue rock over there, would you, daughter? As soon as that lid came off, out of that sarcophagus came... <laughs> I am the magical mummy of Memphis, and I am really mad. You're mad? Yeah, I've been in that sarcophagus for 4,000 years, and I am really mad. Well, you should be happy. No, I'm mad, and you're going to get it. I'm going to get it? Yeah. Well, what are you going to do, punch me? No, even worse. You're going to kick me. No! Even worse! Oh no, daughter. He's going to turn me into a slimy Nile toad. No! Even worse! Worse than a slimy Nile toad? Yeah, come on over here. Okay. Look right in there. All right, I'm looking. You're going to go right inside that sarcophagus. You're going to put me, yeah, you, inside the sarcophagus? Yeah. Your toes are going to be up by your nose. My toes by my nose. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, daughter, I'm in real trouble here. Yeah, you are. Come on, get in. Well, wait a minute. What? 
I don't think that this is the magical mummy of Memphis. I am so! I don't think you are. Daughter, do you think he's the magical? No. Yes, I am! No, you're not. Yes, I am! No, you're not. Yes! No. Yes! No. Yes! No. Yes! 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 Okay, okay, what do I have to do? You must prove to us that you're the magical mummy of Memphis, doesn't he? Prove to you. Okay. How do I prove it? You need to make us rich, doesn't he? We want diamonds. Diamonds? You want diamonds. What do you have? What do we have? Oh, liver bubbles. Go get the liver. Take the lid off and bring the bottle over here, daughter. Leave the lid on the, leave the, lid on the rock. Bring the bubbles over here. We have liver bubbles. Liver bubbles? Diamonds? Okay, I need magic words. Magic words, magic words. Magic words, yes. Wrapped up in reading. Wrapped up in reading, okay, we'll use that one. Okay, so we have magic words, yep. And what else do we need? We need Amy here to blow a bubble. Okay. And um, we need everybody to say, wrapped up in reading. Wrapped up in reading. Let's try it. One, two, three. Okay, you blow a bubble and you catch the bubble. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, we didn't do it right. Try it again. One, two, three. You got to do it softer. One, two, three. Wow, we have a diamond in that bubble. Daughter, we're rich, we're rich. You're not rich. You're going in the sarcophagus. She's rich, and she's going to marry me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, daughter. Is it worse to go into this box, or is it worse to marry the mummy? I tell you what, say goodbye to your mother and brothers and sisters and everybody. I'm just <laughs> Go on, stop wasting time. All right, don't push me. Get in there. Okay, okay. Oh, this is going to really hurt. Wait a minute. What is it now? You know, daughter, not only do I think I'm not going to fit into this sarcophagus, I don't think the mummy can fit into the sarcophagus. Do you think he can fit in there? No. Yes, I can. No, you can. Yes, I can. No. Yes. No. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, watch. I'll prove it. So the mummy stood up into that sarcophagus. See? Is that far enough? No. Okay, okay. I'll sit down. There. There. See, I can fit. You will too. Is that far enough? No. Okay. Watch this. I'll lay down and you'll see I fit perfect. Get the lid. Get the lid. <laughs> so the mummies laid down on that sarcophagus. The fisherman's daughter slammed that lid down onto the sarcophagus. They took it up into the tomb where it had remained until we brought it to the library this very day. That's the legend of the magical mummy and Amy. Give her a great big hand. Go ahead, sit back down. Well, needless to say, we have a problem. Uh, maybe there's a reason why there was thunder and lightning around this mummy. So now the source of all knowledge is found either in the sarcophagus or the reed box. Which do you think we should open? The reed box? Okay, let's open the reed box here. Now what were those magic words? Wrapped up in reading. Okay, on the count of three, let's say it and see if we find the source of all knowledge. One, two, three. <laughs> Another box! <laughs> ah, but you must read hieroglyphics very closely because you can see there's one box here and another box there. So maybe in the second box we'll find it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> wow! We have an ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic. It tells us you could check out books on how to read it and you could actually determine it. The Egyptians knew the source.